What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw. The first one, uh, on the PS2, playing it on a PC emulator, and I am here after yesterday being a complete scumbag and finishing up that thing and gaining the manager, the managerial services of one Tory Wilson. Uh, let us see how things now progress on SmackDown. And I am backstage, and it's Charlie Haas, who I, I beat in a match, hey, I'm pretty sure. I see that we've got a match tonight. Okay, we're fighting again. You know, I keep hearing that you're supposed to be this amazing superstar, but I haven't seen anything from you that's impressed me so far. I already beat you, so... Look who's talking. I'd say you were past your prime, but I don't think you ever had one. Ooh, burn. I don't care what you think. You see, I'm the most skilled superstar to ever set foot in the ring, and I'll prove it to you tonight in a submission-only match. Well, fuck. Do I have any submissions? <laughs> Shit. God damn it. I have the, the torture rack, so... Attack him. Let him go in peace. Now we're gonna attack him. Come on now. You give me the option to punch Look the out. man. He just jumped him from behind! If you give me the I'll option... i right now, Cole, not for nothing. If that guy would've said those things to me, I would've done the same thing to him, Cole. See, Taz? Me and you, yeah. Taz gets it. This is wrestling. The amazing tag team of John Cena and Scotty Tuhati lost to Eddie and Devon. Wow. Charlie Haas is and obviously so still feeling the effects of that vicious backstage attack. I punched him once. Come on now. Um, and so I welcome you. A fine Thursday afternoon, evening, whenever the hell you're watching this match. He's damaged already because I already hurt him, which is pretty good. Which is, you can't pin me, you idiot. You booked the submission match and you're trying to pin me. What is wrong with you, Charlie Haas? Anyway, yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Just right off the bat. Ignore the rope break. <laughs> um, right off the bat. Uh, yeah, so there is news today. There is things to discuss today uh, in the world of wrestling, even though YouTube does not want to, people to talk about wrestling. Screw them. I'm doing it anyway. I'm here playing a wrestling game, so whatever. Um, and uh, first and foremost on the list here, we've got the... Uh, well, we had the main roster call up for the Bollywood Boys on SmackDown that I discussed yesterday. Helping out their buddy, Jinder Mahal. Like, Alright, sure, fine. Uh, apparently they've already been renamed. They, they, they are now the Singh Brothers. Uh, so, you know, that name definitely has some, uh, some cachet in the world of wrestling. Uh, in the past, there was, uh, what was it, uh, Tiger Singh Jeet or Jeet Singh, uh, like back in the days of Bruno San Martino. And then his son, Tiger Ali Singh, uh, in the 90s. So, uh, that name definitely, certainly carries a, a bit of a, uh, you know, history on it in the world. That's a submission. It's a headlock. Come on now. Uh, in the world of wrestling. So, that's cool. Um, and, you know, they're going to see how that stuff plays out, uh, you know, in the future. And look, look, it, I tried to get into some of it yesterday, but the whole thing with Jinder and his apparent main event push uh, is like, I understand, you know, you want to expand the appeal to an international audience. That's cool. Fine. And I'm not going to sit here and condemn the decisions just yet because just about anything with good booking and good wrestling can work. Regardless of where you are on the card, good booking and good wrestling trumps all. So I'm not going to make any snap judgments on this weird, out of nowhere, Charlie Haas, I hate you. Um, push for gender if he can make it work. So, uh, I will definitely give them the benefit of the doubt on that stuff. I don't want to tap out here. I want to... Oh, come on now. Come on now! Charlie Haas. He's, he couldn't get it done, but I couldn't get the ball to stop in the right spot, which sucks. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on there. And, uh, really? It's a submission match. Why are you punching me in the face? You moron. I forget what button is the right button to get you into the torture rack. That's the problem right now. I, I gotta figure out what that button is. Um, but first of all... Oh no! Oh no! There we go. 
gut kick into a salt shaker. So if I can figure out which combination of grapples it is. Or, or I can just Boston Crab the man. Oh, screw you and your rope break. Alright, well, alright. Knock him down and Boston Crab the man. Uh, that seems to be the course of action here to hopefully tap out Charlie Haas if I can actually stop punching me in the face. Deal with his, there we go, shenanigans. Uh, because I don't know. Oh, he reversed the stunner. He's seen it one too many times. Uh, what else I got here? Um, there's been, for a while, uh, we've known that the glorious song for Bobby Roode was not originally intended for him. And now, the word going around is that it was originally done for Nakamura. And that would be weird when you think about him coming out to the glorious song. Like, I understand it partially, because, you know, one of his big uh, uh, inspirations is Freddie Mercury. So if you make a song that sounds like a Queen song, you know, that makes sense. But just the optics on that is really unusual and uh, kind of hilarious. I don't know. I, that, was a, that was the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. I wanted to go into the Boston Crab, and I forget how to do it. There we go. Too close to the ropes. Another rope break. Another rope break. Uh, I'll get you, Charlie. And your little dog. Wait, no. That was Rene Dupree. It was the wrong guy. Alright, do that. And then... Do that. Boston Crab. Center of the ring. Center of the ring. There we go. Capped out. That was easy. That was easy. You talk a big game, Charlie Haas. But you lost to me yet again. What kind of shenanigans can I possibly get into uh, on... It? Oh, no. Oh, no. This can't be good. Oh, hey, dear man. God. I saw your sneak attack last week. It's not so much fun when you're on the receiving end, is it? <laughs> if you think you're so tough, how about a hardcore match? Right here, right now. Okay, Bully Ray. Let's see if I can now put the whooping here on Bubba Ray Diddley. Uh, but yeah, so speaking of Jinder Mahal, uh, I've, there, there's been some, some, some speculation that this push was originally intended for Handsome Rusev, but obviously he's out with that shoulder surgery, so, you know, I guess they still wanted to have their evil foreigner type gimmick, which is funny, because you're technically doing the evil foreigner type thing right now with Kevin Owens as the U.S. champion, so you've got two evil foreigners. What the hell was that? Oh, man, this is really... Okay, that sucked. I didn't lose, but that sucked. Fuck this. Yeah, you do your taunt over there. I'm gonna get this chair. Oh, I had that. Nonsense. Nonsense, Bully Ray. There's a TV showing us doing our thing right in front of where we're doing our thing, which is pretty funny. Um, Mick Foley has finally had his hip surgery. So, uh, best of luck to... Uh, Mick Foley. And, uh, oh, dear God. He did this, this skull crushing finale. That's really good. That's really good. No, reverse it. Reverse a thing. Bubba Ray is kicking my ass here. Um, not cool. Not cool. Yeah, no, get, get the, get the, get the, get the chair, get the chair, get the chair. You want to do some chair shots, Bubba? Is that what you want to do? Is that how you want to handle things? Boom! Solid steel on the concrete. Pinfall. One, two, two. Three. Oh. That was just... Yeah, complain to the ref. I'm pretty sure he kicked out fair and square. Uh, but now, those unforgiving 500... Oh, dear God. Solid steel steps. Um, roll out of the way. What is wrong with you, me? What is wrong with you, me? Oh, really? Is that how we're going to play things here? Aha. Kick you in the nits. Yeah. Death Valley Driver. Apple juice. Um, and finally, uh, there's been some rumors that Vince McMahon is very interested in a, oh crap, in a Jeff Hardy singles push. And I'm like, first of all, they gotta finish their thing where they're getting the rights to, uh, uh, the broken gimmick. Because that's obviously in terms of a long-term booking scenario. That's the, I can't see anything here, which sucks. Um, there we go. Onto the ladder! Onto the ladder! Um, ooh, catering! You know what? I will take 
a victory where I can get it. I will get up and have that catering, and it will be delicious. Haha! -ha. And now it's time for some tacos. Taco Thursday, that's not a thing. I also don't understand why Bubba Ray would stick up for Charlie Haas, but whatever. Uh-oh. Hey, great job tonight. When Bubba Ray Dudley asked for the match, I was a little skeptical. But that was just terrific. Thanks, Kurt. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that after the past couple of weeks, I've got you in mind for a main event match. I'll keep you posted. It's true. It's damn true. And I actually think I have time for one more. Oh dear. Rey Mysterio has the Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, the last couple of weeks, we've seen a certain superstar demonstrate some technical skill and some hardcore skill too. But there's more to this business than that, and you know it. Woo woo woo, you know it. What? Yo, check this out. Can you defy gravity and your own fear? I can. Now I want to see if you can do it. Right here, right now, in this very ring. So I'm getting called out here by Ray Ray? What's going on? I mean, I just know... Just to make things a little bit more interesting. I've got a week's pay. Dinero. In this briefcase. Now if you got the huevos, come on down and we'll have ourselves a little ladder match. So, it's a money match. Sure, alright. I can do a money match. Uh, I'm sure he's mad that I took his entrance, but, you know. Hey, buddy. What's up? It's gonna take a lot more cash than you've got to get me to waste my time in the room with you, Mysterio. Wait, what? Why is... I beat both of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, where do you think you're going? Uh, anywhere but here. I'm pretty sure that I just heard someone challenge you. And? God damn it. Bullshit. Fine. I'll beat him too. I beat you up. I beat you up. I'll beat him up. I don't care. Any- Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Ray. Um. Anyway, uh. Back to the Jeff Hardy supposed singles push. Uh, number one, first of all, get that broken thing. Referee punch in the face. Uh. In, in order, first of all. And second of all, don't make the same mistakes that you made the last time that led to the burnout and the eventual departure of Jeff Hardy. So do not be like, yeah, we're going to put you on a main event run push and then have him on that same grueling 300-plus three, day a year schedule. Uh, that's what caused his problems in the first place. So don't do that. Uh, can I not? There we go. What the hell? Oh, on the ladder. Don't think so, right? Don't think so. So yeah, uh, I got no problems with them doing that push. I I'm just saying that historically there were some issues there uh, that you would hopefully not. I wanted to hit him with it, but okay. Uh, like that you they, that you would not end up repeating uh, because all everything in 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 cycles. Oh, that was nonsense. Nonsense. All right, let's see if we can stutter. And Torture Rack, which does me no good in this match because, uh, you know, it's a ladder match, so. Go get the ladder. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Hit the man with the ladder, do the dirty. Do that dirty, there we go! Nope, that's not what I wanted to I kind of appreciate the fact that 2K17 sets up the ladder exactly in the middle where you want it. Because most games didn't, and most games don't. Uh, and that does make things... A bit easier. Hit the salt shaker, climbing the ladder, going for the belt, getting the belt. Just hanging here for a while. How long do I gotta hang here? And I won the match. Thanks, Ray. Thanks for the money. Appreciate it. I made all three of you morons look pretty stupid now, didn't I? Did the match, got the money, and, uh, you know, had a good day. Boyaka, boyaka. Oh, hey, Kurt. Kurt, Kurt Angle appreciates awesome it. Awesome match. Just awesome. You know, I've been looking for a special match of vengeance, and I think I've got it. Okay, I'm all ears. A four-man oh. elimination style, no DQ battle royal between you, Charlie Haas, Bubba Ray Dudley, and Rey Mysterio. Ah, uh, I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. 
That is a weird cross-section of talent, and that crowd is hype as hell for it. They're like, yeah! Charlie Haas. There won't be any titles on the line, but whoever wins will definitely earn my respect. And believe me, that's worth something in this business. It's true. It's damn true. You heard the general manager, Taz. A four-man battle royal this Sunday at Vengeance. Okay. What a great old-school match. What a great mix of styles. This is going to be off the chain. He said, the text says off the hook, Taz. Read the text. Anyway, that will wrap up today's edition of SmackDown vs. Raw. Thanks for watching. I guess tomorrow we'll have that four-man, and that'll be interesting. I'm a tax slug. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.